On March 23, 1775, Patrick Henry addressed the Virginia Convention. At the time, Virginia had not yet committed her troops to the fight against the British. Patrick Henry saw no other option than war with Britain. He took to the floor of the convention in the hopes of inspiring his fellow Virginians to join in the struggle for independence. Sir, we've done everything that could be done to avert the storm which is now coming on. Our supplications have been disregarded, and we have been spurned with contempt from the foot of the throne. In vain, after these things, may we indulge the fond hope of peace and reconciliation. If we wish to be free, if we mean to preserve and violate those inestimable privileges for which we have been so long contending, if we mean not basely to abandon the noble struggle in which we have been so long engaged, we must fight. I repeat it, sir, we must fight. They tell us, sir, that we are weak, unable to cope with so formidable an adversary. Sir, we are not weak if we make a proper use of those means which the God of nature hath placed in our power. Besides, sir, we shall not fight our battles alone. There is a just God who presides over the destinies of nations and who will raise up friends to fight our battles for us. The war is inevitable and let it come. I repeat, sir, let it come. Gentlemen may cry peace, peace, but there is no peace. The war has actually begun. The next gale that sweeps from the north will bring to our ears the clash of resounding arms. Our brethren are already in the field. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God! I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty and give me death.